hello guys welcome to emmy's diary on today's session i'll be showing you guys how i made this very delicious abacha without potash nor soda so these are the ingredients that i worked with firstly you i have my abacha over there abacha is made from cassava i have uba i have crayfish palm oil onions i have my ice fish i have my ungo that liquid over there that looks like vegetable oil that's ungo the link on how i made it i'll attach to the comment section okay so guys this is my cow skin that's pomo that's otazi over there the smaller leaf the bigger leaf is ayara leaf ayara leaf is, is a garden egg leaf that's my seasoning cube uh and my pepper that's cut bonnet so guys these are the ingredients that i use in the preparation of my abacha let's get started guys so i put in my properly washed bomo that is cow skin in a pot and i added some salt after adding the salt i added my seasoning cube guys be careful with whatever you're adding when you're adding salt and seasoning cube guys work with your taste it depends on how you like your food to be tasty that determines the quantity that you add so guys i also added my onion and i added my pepper guys i really wanted this promo to be very spicy and yummy i didn't want it to just be dry hence the reason i added all this so it also depends on what you want if you want to add other ingredients you could but i this particular ingredient right here is okay for me so i close the pot and allow it to cook for some time so guys this it has cooked for like uh, 15 minutes the pomo was really soft there are hard ones in the market guys so when you're buying make sure you ask for soft pomo <laughs> that's soft cow skin guys okay so this is my pomo almost ready guys almost ready the water is almost dry so i think i took it out at this point and i introduced fish in the same what in the same that's the same pot then i added my salt i added my onion i added little water to the fish for it to cook properly i also added yes i added a little pepper because there's already pepper in the pot that i used in preparing the pomo so i was being careful for the soup the fish not to be over salty or less so this were just the right ingredient and the right proportion that i added so i added little water yes and i covered it and allowed it to boil for some time allowed it to boil for some time so after like um, five minutes I came back uh, to the fish and uh, it was actually ready yes yes it was ready so I was just tearing it to make sure that the ingredient got to every side of the fish okay so I also allowed it to the water to dry because I didn't want to rinse the pot I just wanted to add the abacha directly into the pot and I did not want to also waste the fish and pour more water so I, I still left the fish in there for the water to dry a little more so while I was waiting for the water to dry guys I was preparing my ungo so I forgot to show you guys the video of how I prepared the ungo I wanted to use so I had to put another uh, to prepare another one just a very little one to show you guys exactly how I did it so in the plate before this oil was my ungo before I, I, I poured in the oil so after pouring your oil into the well, that's the ungo the liquid yes the one that I got from planting this it's a, it is at this stage that people use potash or soda so soda so guys this is my ungo and my oil mixture called ncha in Igbo language this is the one this is what i use in the coloring of my abacha the thickening and the juiciness of the abacha this right here is the magic so guys this is how the ungo works this very healthy ungo gotten from unripe plantain peels 
uh yes i've uploaded the video on how i came about the ungo so this is me preparing you stay for a long time after that i poured in my abacha i took out my fish then i poured in my abacha into the pot uh, containing the very small water of my pomo and the uh, fish so i poured in my uba after which i stirred for a little while i stirred for a little while and remember guys i the heat my uh stove is still on my cooker is still on but i really turned down the heat because i wouldn't want the abacha to get burnt i just wanted it to be warm a little bit so i added my pomo i sliced some of it into smaller sizes and i added it and i still stirred it so remember guys that i i used salt and seasoning cube in cooking my pomo so that is to say that my abacha is already tasty because the leftover of the water that i used in cooking the pomo that's the cow skin and the fish was in the pot so guys i added my pepper and i was careful with adding seasoning cube or salt so i had to add my pepper add my onions stir it for a little while and i also tasted it to confirm if there's a need for me to add my uh, salt or seasoning cube okay when i found out that there was a need for me to do so i then added very little okay this is me still adding and putting up all the onions that i cut because i don't want it to waste so it depends on you if you're someone who doesn't like onion i would advise that you blend or you omit it it doesn't really affect it it is your choice guys so guys this is me trying to really stir and uh, have a good mix then i added my seasoning cube because i felt the need to do so then i stirred also for a little while so after stirring for some time i added a little bit of salt because i felt there was a need to do so after tasting it i now stirred also then i added crayfish guys in this crayfish i blended ehuru that's the picture over there i bring i blended it together with my crayfish so i added my crayfish and i stirred it for some time too after stirring guys i I I now had to move over to my fish that I was frying to make sure that it wasn't getting burnt. So after that, guys, I introduced my otaze. This leaf is actually very healthy and uh, it's quite bitter, so don't add too much if you are not a fan of bitter things. Add a little. So after putting my otaze, I added my ungos gradually now guys this right here is the that is what makes your abacha dry juicy creamy or and really you know just looks really nice so again it is up to you remember that ungo is made from uh, a, a uncha this incha i'm adding my uncha right here not ungo sorry so this incha right here is made from ungo and palm oil so if you are not the type that loves so much palm oil you want to add a little if you don't mind you can increase it just for your abacha to really look nice and really creamy and yummy so this is me mixing my uncha to my abacha and guys when i soak my abacha i don't use hot water because i like it uh, a little bit i don't want to use the word crispy but <laughs> that's more like how i like it so that when i and at this point again very important notice i had already off my there's no heat again in my stove i had off the heat in my gas so it is just and i also allow the abacha to cool for a while before i added my ungo so that it doesn't dissolve it into something else guys so i hope you guys understand what i mean by all that this is exactly how i made my abacha guys so easy i hope you enjoyed the video guys please share with your family and friends this is the outcome of my abacha share with your family and, and friends guys and uh, like my page comment on the comment section and tell me what you think about my abacha made without potash or soda thank you so so much for watching please subscribe and enjoy your abacha when you make yours thank you